it probably was blowing about 80 miles an hour, if I remember the entries in the log. The seas were a good 40 feet because the bridge wing is 40, was 42 feet, I think, above the uh, <clears throat> water line. And uh, when we would signal back and forth with the destroyer, because you couldn't use radio, you kept radio silence, which was another precaution. Sometimes you'd have to redo it because of the wave tops that would get in the way. Uh, holding on was so tiring that by the end of your watch, you felt you could hardly walk. Uh, the decks were covered with ice, of course. Uh, it was blinding because the snow was heavy, so your visibility was poor. Every once in a while it would lift and you'd see the destroyers. Uh, bitterly cold. You hardly ate. First of all, you couldn't keep a plate on the on a table, so it was a fighting a meal was a real fight. Uh, I remember when I got off wa watch the night that we hit, <clears throat> I went down in the galley and uh, had a cup of coffee, which in itself I remember was an art to keep it in the cup. And I remember when my relief came on, I said, you poor son of a bitch, am I glad to get off this. Just the idea of going down and getting under a blanket seemed like heaven. When we hit, I was thrown out of my bunk, along with the bunk itself, with tremendous jolting, banging. And my first reaction was that we had hit one of the destroyers. And I was sure that we had run into it. When we ran up, uh, because my uh, job on abandoned ship was to go to the searchlight. Searchlight was up on the upper deck, which was a big carbon searchlight. And uh, when I turned it on, we were right next to snow-covered cliffs with the seas banging against the ship. And I guess the seas by that time were down maybe to 30, 35 feet. And uh, the ship was just crashing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I remember saying the, to Wag, who was the other signalman, and on the light with me, the stupid son of a bitches couldn't keep the ship off the beach because it looked like no threat. You could practically walk ashore. 